Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Cosorex Advanced Nail Mucin Power Essence, which is a an hydrating and lightweight essence that's suitable for all skin types and it can be used daily in the morning and or evening, basically whenever you feel the need. And so this essence can not only help you to hydrate your skin, but to smoothen your skin and prevent skin's water loss when using it. And so you can go ahead and include it in your morning and or evening skincare routine. And I do want to share with you an example so that you can see the setup of it, the order of application when setting up your own skincare routine so that you know where the essence basically belongs. And then I'm going to show you the entire application on my face when trying this out at home so that you can see it visually. Now I want to get started with the example skincare routine. So if you're planning on using the snail essence in your morning skincare routine, then you're going to get started with the first step which is washing your face using a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. Now if you're planning on using an exfoliating liquid or essence in that same routine well please only stick to a gentle cleanser only and avoid exfoliating acid cleansers. However if you're not planning on using an exfoliant then again you can go ahead and use a gentle cleanser or exfoliating acid cleanser depending on your skin needs but so that you know how you can adjust it. And and once you're done with washing your face, you're then moving on to the next step, which would be optional. And this can be either using an exfoliant like an AHA or BHA and or an hydrating and soothing toner. And then if you're planning on using it, well, it would be basically the second step after cleansing, but before your essence. However, if you're going to skip this step, then you can apply your snail essence immediately after your cleansing step. And then you're going to apply your essence and then after that you can follow with additional zones and or treatments depending on your skin needs. And then I recommend following with a moisturizer that already contains SPF or just use your regular sunscreen afterwards. So it feels comfortable on the skin yet protects the skin when being exposed to the sun to protect the skin not only from premature aging but from sun damaged skin as well. And then if you're planning on using your snail essence in your evening skincare routine, the setup basically will look the same just without your sunscreen step. And you're going to replace your sunscreen step with a moisturizer that's suitable for your skin type and needs if you feel the need of using one. It's also fine to not use a moisturizer at the end of your skincare routine and just finish with the essence and all your serums and treatments. So I do want to quickly emphasize again, your hydrating toner step and exfoliating acid step and your serum step those are optional steps and your moisturizer in the evening as well of course you need to adjust it accordingly to your skin type and needs but so that you can see the order of application as a whole and then once you have an idea of how you're going to include your essence in your skincare routine, I now want to move on to the actual application. So again, we are going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face with a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. In this example, I'm going to use Cetaphil's Gentle Skin Cleanser, which is for example great for dry to normal sensitive skin. However, if you're using a different cleanser, go ahead and use that one. As long as it does not dry out your skin nor irritates your skin go ahead and use it just make sure to read the directions on the back of the packaging on how you should use it since the application can change depending on the cleanser that you're using do you have to apply it on dry or on wet skin this sometimes can change so adjust it accordingly and so in this example I'm going to get started with wetting my face neck and hands with lukewarm water to warm water and then applying the cleanser on wet skin if your cleanser does say well you should apply it on dry skin then you're going to immediately use your cleanser on dry skin and then massage it onto the skin. So let's go ahead and do this. Then use about one to two pumps of your cleanser or about a coin size amount and then massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. Also make sure that you're going to read on the directions if you can use it around the eyes or if you should avoid the eye area. Thank you. 
So, and once you have massaged your cleanser all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and rinse it off again with lukewarm water to warm water. Now, in case you should have troubles removing the cleanser properly from the skin, you can go ahead and use a fresh and soft washcloth which you can wet. And this can help you to remove the cleanser a bit better. So I now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So now once you are done with washing your face, you have pat the skin dry, you now can go ahead and immediately move on to the next step. Again, as an optional step, you can go ahead and include an exfoliant in your skincare routine and or hydrating toner, which of course depends on your preference and your skin needs, then use it immediately after your cleansing step, but before your essence. However, if you're going to skip this step, then you can immediately after cleansing move on to the snail essence, and this is now where I want to keep my focus on. And so since this essence has a pump, you can either use it in the palm of your hand and then apply it to the skin or use it on a cotton pad. Whatever is your preference and whatever works the best for you when applying it. But I do want to make you aware of that if you're using it on a cotton pad, you need to use more product as if you would use it in the palm of your hand. So when using it in the palm of your hand, use about like two to three pumps. However, if you're using it on a cotton pad, you are more likely likely to use like the double amount of how you would use it in the palm of the like in the palm of your hand or even more than that just to so that you're making sure that your cotton pad feels slightly damp and that you have enough product on it to swipe it across your face to make sure that you can evenly cover the entire area and so in this example I'm going to use the palm of my hand since I feel like this works really well it is a very lightweight and liquidish essence but it blends very easily and so start off by using one to two pumps see how it goes and if you feel the need of using an additional pump then go ahead and add it to it so that you will figure out what like amount of product will work the best for you but again I do want to make you aware of do not use too much you should be able to blend it properly all over your face and neck but at the same time it shouldn't like feel completely wet on the skin the product should be able to absorb properly into the skin when using it So I use about two pumps in the palm of my hand, then I like to use them together and then evenly applying it all over my face and neck. Now please make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. If that's the case, please rinse it immediately with water and be careful around the eyes. Do not use it on top of the eyelids. So, and once you have applied Cosorex Snail Essence all over your face and neck, then you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now, if you want to keep it very simple, and this is, for example, your evening skincare routine, you can use the essence on its own, that's completely fine, which of course depends on your skin type and needs. However, you can again adjust it. So if you now have, for example, additional serums and or treatments at home, then you now would follow with them after you have applied the essence and then you're going to leave it on the skin and then finish with your moisturizer in the evening or sunscreen during daytime. Now, if you're using a moisturizer in your evening skincare routine, again, this is an optional step. You do not have to use a moisturizer if you don't feel the need. However, if you do so, please make sure that you're using a moisturizer that's suitable for your skin type and needs that works really well for you to balance it out. Now I have as an example the snail cream as well and so if you would for example use a moisturizer in your evening skincare routine and it is in a jar then just take your finger dip into it and then apply it evenly all over your face and neck. If you have a cream with a pump use about a pea size amount a bit more or less depending on your skin type and again apply it evenly all over. So you basically are going to apply your moisturizer moisturizer if you're using one on top of your essence and or serums and then you're going to leave it on the skin and this would be it for your evening skincare routine. However, during daytime as already mentioned when being exposed to the sun 
Then it is recommended to follow with sun protection either by using a moisturizer that contains SPF or a regular sunscreen. So make sure that it's not irritating your skin and not like irritating your eyes in particularly and that it feels comfortable on the skin and yet protects the skin during daytime. Now I have two examples right here. I'm going to use Polar's Dry Skin Restoring Moisturizer with SPF 50. This is of course just an example. If you have a different one at home that you truly love, go ahead and use that one. Apply your moisturizer with SPF or your regular sunscreen 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure and please make sure to reapply it, especially if you went for a swim, if you have sweat a lot, you have been in the sun for several hours where the sunscreen can move around, break down or wear off. Then the reapplication during daytime is really important to get, make sure that the protection like, is basically there. And so when using a moisturizer that already contains SPF or your regular sunscreen, sunscreen one thing won't change and this is the amount of product that you're going to use so my guide is always like using a teaspoon use about half a teaspoon for your face and neck and use about one teaspoon for your face neck and decolletage this is like an overall general guide which I do find is very helpful especially if you're being new to it so that you have an idea of how much sun protection you actually need to make sure that you can even and properly protect the skin and so you can of course adjust it if you feel that you have like too much sunscreen then of course reduce it by the next time but about that much should be enough for your face and neck this is now where i'm going to keep my focus on however if you're going to blend it further down you would need to use a bit more about that much for your face and neck use it in the palm of your hand and then evenly apply it all over your face and neck and don't forget your ears as well So and once you have applied your moisturizer with SPF or your regular sunscreen then again you're going to leave it on the skin there's no need to wash it off. Now this is an example of a very straightforward and easy morning skincare routine that I want to share with you so that you can see the application and how you can properly protect the skin when being in the sun. However, I do want to mention again that if you find the previous example skincare routines helpful, you can go ahead and download them in the description box down below and use it as a guide when setting up your own skincare routine at home so that you know the order of application. Now I do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you find it helpful and if you did so please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it and thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring! Bye!